Hi, and welcome to Dan's Destinations. We previously visited Werribee Mansion as part of the Open House Melbourne event. The Werribee Mansion is a stunning 19th century historical mansion located 40 minutes southeast from Melbourne. It is situated in the Werribee Park precinct, which is a vast parkland of over 10,000 acres. In addition to the mansion itself, the Werribee Park precinct is also home to the Werribee Zoo, and the Victoria State Rose Garden. The Werribee Mansion was built in the 1870s for the wealthy Scottish pastoralist, Thomas Chernside and his family. The Chernsides were one of the most powerful and influential families in the region, and the Werribee Mansion was designed to reflect their status and wealth. The mansion is set on a sprawling 10-acre estate, which includes a beautiful formal garden, an ornamental lake, and an impressive stable complex. The Chernsides were instrumental in the development of the wool industry in Victoria, and their vast landholdings and economic power helped to shape the social and political landscape of the region. The estate's beautiful gardens were designed by renowned landscape gardener William Guilfoyle in the 1870s. The gardens feature a wide variety of exotic and native plants, including a magnificent avenue of trees that leads up to the mansion's entrance. Today, Werribee Mansion provides a fascinating glimpse into the lives of the Chernside family and the broader society of colonial Victoria. The dedicated volunteers are on hand to provide visitors with a detailed history of each room, all while dressed in the historical period clothing. The interior of the mansion has been meticulously restored, with many original features and furnishings still intact. The main dining room was used for formal occasions and features a beautiful chandelier. The morning room is adjacent to the main dining room and was used as an informal family living room or dining room. The grand staircase is located in the mansion's main hall, and is the first thing visitors see upon entering the building. It is a stunning example of Victorian-era craftsmanship and design. The saloon on the upper floor features many art paintings. The balcony is located on the second floor of the mansion through a set of French doors. It provides a breathtaking view of the surrounding parklands and the gardens. Taking a walk back inside, 
you will find the children's room which is located next to the grand staircase. It is a spacious and light-filled room that is decorated in soft pastel colors and features a collection of toys and games from the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The room is furnished with a collection of antique cribs, rocking horses, and other toys, as well as a small writing desk and a bookcase filled with children's literature. Outside the children's room, you will find the staircase to the tower. It was originally built as a functional feature of the mansion, providing a water storage tank and a high point from which residents could survey the surrounding parklands. However, it quickly became a popular spot for its stunning views and to entertain guests. Above the cafeteria, a section of the mansion has been converted into a gallery showcasing the history of the mansion and how it eventually became a heritage site under Parks Victoria. Walking on down, we arrived at the billiard room, which is the focal point of the bachelor's wing. In the 1800s, it was considered to be a domain for the men to socialize and discuss various topics. The animal trophies on the wall were a major feature of the mansion in the 1800s and reflected the Chernside's interest in hunting and the importance of the activity to high society. The kitchen is the heart of the mansion and the cook is third in seniority amongst the female staff, behind the housekeeper and the lady's maid. The standard of food served was very important and the cook had to be very knowledgeable not only in food preparation but also in how to run the kitchen, in stocking the kitchen, and also know the best methods for food preservation. The mansion silverware was obtained from the famous Elkington & Company, from Birmingham, England. The butler was in charge of the male staff and one of his duties was to take custody of the house silverware to prevent theft. Outside. We were able to visit the farm at the rear of the mansion. The farm features a collection of historic buildings and structures, including a blacksmith shop, a dairy, a grain store, and a shearing shed. Another popular attraction at the farm is the animal enclosure, which features a collection of farm animals, including heritage breeds of cattle, sheep, deers, ducks and chickens. Visitors can even participate in hands-on activities such as feeding or grooming the animals. The Werribee Mansion is a testament to the wealth, taste, and influence of the Chernside family, and provides a fascinating glimpse into a bygone era of Australian history. I highly recommend a visit to this historical icon if you are in Melbourne. Located next to the mansion is the Victoria State Rose Garden, a world-renowned attraction that has one of the largest and most diverse collection of roses in the Southern Hemisphere, with over 5,000 roses of more than 400 different varieties. The garden is a beautifully landscaped area that is divided into several different sections, each of which features roses of a different color or variety with a large gazebo at the center. When viewed from above, you can see that the walking pads and gazebo form the design of a rose flower.
That pretty much concludes this guide. Thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe.